up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mordi J and we are locked in. Now y'all know it's that time. It's episode five to recap. Now you know me, I'm not going to tell you what happened. You got to go back to my other video to watch the sneak peek because when we do these recaps, it's what we actually see at that moment. But before we get into all that, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you want to be a part of this, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Oh, hit that like button. It's 2021. We on that road to 5,000 subscribers. We need 800 more. Let's make it happen. But we know Leon shot the place up. But let's let's get this something uh, straight right off the bat. Leon seen them and they shot first. Leon shot back. So I don't know how that's going to play over into the, to the actual episode. But let's jump right into it. You know, I'm not going to hold you up. This is episode five of Snowfall. The recap. My dog Leon is on the run now. So him and Fatback, you know what they're doing? They're about to burn the car up. Now, I, when I seen the episode, the little sneak peek last week, I thought somebody was trying to set him up. But them boys is burning the car up and getting rid of the evidence because you didn't kill the kid in here. So even if it is a gang war, the cops going to be looking because there's a kid dead now. So what he does do is tell Fatback, like, hey, we got to split up because I killed somebody. We got to lay low. That back's like, man, no. And then all of a sudden, ba boom, car blows up and they <laughs> they shake the block. We get to finally see Scully. I know it's early in the episode and Scully's rage is building up. So he's at the hospital with his girl and he's looking for his daughter. And security comes over like, hey, 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 man, you can't be over here. And Scully's like, man, leave me alone. Leave me alone. And... Knowing Scully, he's probably on drugs, so he's emotional, he's high, and he just goes over to his girl. If you watch All American, this is Simone from All American, so she gave up her kid in All American, and then Snowfall, her kid dies, but let's not bring those stories together. But, you know, Scully's hurt, and we know Scully is one of the craziest dudes on this show, so we know Scully's about to get out here in these streets and figure out what the hell is going on. My boy Leon's on the run. He's jogging around, just whoo, trying to get, get to where he's going. Cops riding by. The, they know it was a big shootout, you know what I'm saying? South LA. We may have seen Mo out there shooting, but he ends up getting to his mom's house. Now, this is a sneak peek that I did earlier today that they showed us. He gets in the house and he's looking for a shovel. His mom comes over. Now, I broke this down more in depth than what I'm going to do now because, you know, that's what the whole episode was on. But. He asked his mom, where's the shovel? There's $20,000 outside in the back. Turns out the mom dug up this money to go pay to get one of the son's stitches because he got a bit by a Doverman. The other one, he is paying for the, uh, she was paying for the daughter's dialysis. Now, remember, this is the early 90s, so no insurance. Stitches is probably going to cost you probably like maybe two, $300. The dialysis, you might be a thousand. This house is paid for by Leon and the mom's telling him, oh, you can't stay here because um, I got your, your brother and sister here. Uh, Leon bought this house and gave it to you. Leon should be able to stay here, but you know what it, uh, the caring, loving, powerful mom does, the black queen does to her son? She takes that funky robe off and she puts it on Leon and talk about, be careful out there. Damn. Man boy pulls up on his sister at the hospital. And you know, she's out there smoking. It's Scully's girl, so she's just out there chilling. And man boy's trying to use this as a chance to be like, you know, we still family and stuff. And whoever did this to my niece, you know, I'm going to be at it. But she's talking, she talks to him like, uh, you can't use this to try to get good with Scully and get good with us. You shot up our house. And man boy's like, no, nah, it was the parking lot. So she like, all right, you care so much about your niece. What is her, what is her middle name? And of course, man boy don't know. Hell, I don't even know. And I watch the show every week, but man boy don't know. So he's looking at it like, man, yeah, you right. Maybe it's too soon for me to show up here. So she pretty much tells him, you don't care about us. You shot up our house and you beefing with Scully. So you trying to use this to be in his good graces? Nah, get up out of here, man. Man, my boy Leon on the run, he going out bad. His mama gave him a hundred dollars in a robe and was like, man, be careful. He out here with the bums and he just sitting there. You got sirens going off and he's all paranoid and spooked. Like, Woo Leon ain't got no money. He ain't got no gun on him. Hey, Leon, call me, man. I, I got you, man. I give you 5,000. You can go on the run. You stay here if you need. But he's down here spooked. So he gets up with this dirty robe on and he walks off. Like, you know, when women are trying to get through a group of men, like, hey, let me holler at you. Let me holler hold it up like this with the damn robe on he trying to get through there man my boy leon going out bad bro 
now we got everybody scrambling. We got Franklin trying to figure out, all right, we need new security. We got to get Peaches back involved, man. This ain't a bad time to be losing security. And Auntie's talking about, hey, man, we can slow down moving, you know what I'm saying, to Little Rock and expanding. But Franklin ain't trying to hear that. In his head, we clocking dollars. But guess who shows up? Man, boy. And he comes in there all tough talking about, my five-year-old niece, she was killed. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... Her mom, Khadija, was there and she she got a good look on it. was your man, Leon. Jerome up in the back with the pistol behind him. He ain't even worried about it. He talking about, I don't know who killed him. Who, Daffy Duck? And man boy just starts to go into the, the tough guy mode. Like, this brings family together when one of ours dies. But uh, when my group did wrong, I brought it to the table for y'all. I want the same courtesy from you. So pretty much he wants Franklin to turn in Leon because Leon killed his niece. Now me, I'm thinking Franklin the Franklin is a G and he ain't gonna do none of that sucker stuff, man. Forget that. I'm the boss. I'm the plug. I'm the supplier. Man, boy, you don't do you don't tell me what to do. You don't come in here and tell me what to do. I do what I do. Franklin ain't gonna give up his boy, dog. <laughs> Franklin, Jerome, Auntie, we gotta figure this out. So right now they're just brainstorming. And like I said in the opening episode, it doesn't matter that it's a gang war going on side when a civilian, especially a child, is killed. Oh man, them cops are gonna be on it because the higher ups, all the community can it's just a baby. Now, if it was some drug dealers, they wouldn't care, but they, the community about to come out and they about to put pressure on the chief and the chief about to put pressure on all of the damn sergeants, privates, whatever the hell these cops are. But Franklin admits, just like I've been saying, Franklin admits all of this is because of me. I tried to set up Scully with man boy to kill him and it didn't work. And this spilled over into Leon. Now, auntie, she's saying, we need to turn them in because we can't afford to go to war with both sides, Scully and Man Boy. Now, Uncle Jerome is like, man, we can either turn them in or we can prepare for war. And Franklin's sitting there, he's thinking, man, we got to figure it out. But regardless of what everybody say, Franklin ain't no sucker. He may not be about the life, but he ain't going to turn this boy, man. That just, that ain't what he going to do, man. That's his boy, Leon. That's his brother. Gustavo's drunk ass pulls up to the house. Now, when he gets there, he takes his niece and nephew and he takes them into the living room, builds a little fort with him. He drunk. And his girl, she she hears some talking in the living room. She calls the police. When she gets out there, she sees Gustavo. She like, man, get the get get the kids back to sleep. Now, Gustavo, he's drunk. He gets up with her and he starts trying to dance with her, and trying to get a kiss. And then all you hear is LAPD open up and when they open up gustavo starts yelling the cop comes in it's all bad for him they didn't threw him down now he's gonna have to try to call teddy and get him about of this but gustavo you gotta you gotta shake back bro you ain't been writing a couple episodes man <laughs> alton's doing the check just okay we got this many homeless people in here mm, it's stinking here okay that's seven eight nine and then guess who he sees he sees that funky robe in that afro he doesn't say nothing. All he does is run off because he knows everybody is looking for Leon. So, you know, he about to Franklin come get your boy because I don't want the shelter shot up. Everybody's favorite reporter, Miss Irene. Miss, I'm nosy. I stick my nose in everything. But it looks like at this editing place, uh, they laying people off. You got a lady walking out with a box and Irene's like, no, no, no. Then he comes out and tells Irene, look. I just found out it like 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 you did, and yeah, I did get promoted. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, the promotion's good, but Irene's like, she's kind of confused. Like, is my job on the line too? Now there's a guy that comes in, the head, and he's talking about, hey, Irene, I heard you have a story. Come explain it to me. So now we're getting to see the story that she's going to put together with all the information she has about a certain CIA agent who is Reed. And how he's bringing drugs in and supplying money and guns to the Contras down in South America. I told you. I told you. Franklin's dad seen him and ran to the phone. Uh, Franklin, you got to get up here. Your boy is up here. Now, when they get over there, <sighs> Leon's just sleeping in. It's probably about 8, 9, 10. Like, bro, you need to be up and on the move. He just sleeping in. They kick his foot. He looks his uh, saying and says, <coughs> What up, Saint? Like, bruh, you didn't kill Scully's kid and you just in here chilling around? Hey, you need to get the hell out the city, man. 
the Scully family, they still at the hospital because Scully's like, man, I'm not leaving. So they finally get their daughter's personal belongings. And it's a lady in a wheelchair. I don't, it was kind of weird. Like, I don't have a, yeah. but they're staying there. And, and, and Scully's girl, she like, man, look, let's get up out of here, man. All this stuff will still be here. But we know Scully, he ain't in the right mind. He's probably, like I say, he's probably on drugs. He's probably high. And he's in here. He's sitting there like, hey, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving at all. So, you know, in Scully's head, I'm going after Leon. I'm going after his mama. I'm going after anybody that's connected to Leon. So, Franklin, you might need to watch out, too. Franklin came through. Woke Leon up. Got Jerome. Hey, Leon, come on. We're going to put you up in this apartment. When they get there, don't call nobody, don't leave, don't do nothing but sit here. We'll come back and let you know when things get clear. And before Franklin walks out, Leon's like, hey, Saint, can, can, can I get a piece, you know, for protection? And Franklin's like, no. <laughs> but Jerome, Jerome is like, all right, man, if we gonna look out for him, huh, take my gun. So he gives him his little revolver. What I don't understand is why aren't they trying to get him out of the city and like, it's common sense. Hey, man, last I heard, he left the city, bro. He went to Florida or something. But they just going to stay in the city, I guess. They going to wait till it blows over. They get to the car. Franklin asks Jerome, hey, what did, what did you think about Leon? What, what does he seem like? And Jerome tells him, man, I've known him for a long time. But when somebody kills a kid, it really ain't no coming back from that, man. That's the worst thing. Now, you can kill somebody that's getting ready to kill you. That's a different story. That's defending yourself. But to kill an innocent kid... Hey, man, it's going to be tough, man. Leon, he's scared because, you know, when people, people like boys get killed, people going to ride for them. But when somebody's kid gets killed, oh, it's a whole nother thing, man. Everybody's coming for you. There's no A. Hey, there's nothing you can do or say that people are going to forgive you for killing the kid. Gustavo get out of jail. He got sunglasses on. So what? What did the cops when they arrested him? They're like, hey, man, put your glasses on. Let's get up out of here. But like I said, Reed came and got him out of jail, but when he gets in the car, he tells Gustavo, hey, bro, whatever you got going on, it has to stop because it's going to blow his cover. Like, come on, man, Gustavo, you got to get right. I told you when you got arrested, you got to shake back these last couple episodes. You've been on some BS. The last good thing you did was when we ran up in the house and did the little brat, brat, brat and got rid of some people. But other than that, Gustavo, you tripping and Teddy ain't playing that shit. Scully is out of his mind. He's been waiting at the hospital, waiting and waiting. And the doctor comes out like, hey, we're about to perform an autopsy. We got to get the body ready. Scully's like, man, you don't need to do no autopsy, man. You you see, it's, it's a bullet in her. And the, the doctor's like, hey, man, this is just the standard procedure. Whenever somebody's murdered, we have to do an autopsy. Now, his girl, she's like, Scully, you tripping, bro. Let these people do their job. I'm about to go home. I can't be doing this. I'm hurt. I lost my daughter. I'm still sitting in the bloodstained clothes. I need to change up out of this. And Scully's like, man, okay. <laughs> Franklin pulls up on Reed and he has to tell him, hey, look, I need to know what the cops know. Like ASAP, because there was a kid that got shot, a five-year-old got shot, and we need to know what the hell the cops know. And of course, Teddy's like, is it one of yours? Franklin's like, can you help me, yes or no? And you know, Teddy being Teddy, he's like, man, yeah, I, give, me, give me a minute, but... Teddy knows he has to figure this out because it's going to all come back to him. He's pretty much like the only person that's connected to all these drugs and all the guns coming in and out. So he has to find out and he has to protect Franklin because this murder, Franklin ain't going to do nothing. But it's like if it comes back on Leon, it's going to come on to Franklin, which is going to go up to. So he's got to figure out what the cops know. Our favorite reporter, Irene, called a, a company meeting. All right, listen up, guys. We got this person. We got this person. We got this person. The government is bringing in drugs, and we need to figure out how to stop it. Now, she's talking to the head chief, the head honcho of the damn newspaper. And she's like, look, I need all the resources from everybody that we have here. We need to do this. I need plan A to happen so plan B will happen. And her, her, her manager, he's like, hey, bruh. We, we we can't do that so now they're trying to come up with a plan on how to make this story pop because they only have the information from the one dea officer but it's off record so the young black guy that's you know irene's assistant was like hey how about we go to his ex-wife since she's cia 
And Irene said, nah, CIA ain't gonna tell no operational stuff. But what do you guys think about these drug lords? So what she's gonna do is try to go to the drug lords and this is just me assuming, go to the drug lords and see what they know and try to backtrace and see if it connects to either Franklin or even to our boy Reed. My boy Leon is going through it. Now he's just having all kinds of nightmares. The first nightmare is Franklin and Jerome sneak up on him. They gave him an empty gun and he pulls the gun and then he's talking about Franklin, I'm not gonna beg for my life. Franklin's like, man, you thought you was the smart one. Bow! Oh, Leon thought he was dead. He woke up. When he woke up from that nightmare, he got up and he walked, but he heard a, a girl crying. And then it turned out, oh my God, she's over there laughing and crying over his dead body, talking about Leon. You dead. He wakes up again. And when he wakes up this third time, it's actual reality. He hears a knock on the door. He looks out the window. Oh, it's Mama Franklin. She's talking to one of the one of the tenants in their apartment complex talking about, hey, go to your job interview, do a good job. Now Leon sees it, he opens up the door and Mama Franklin comes in and Leon sits on the couch, but she tells him to sit on the floor. So at first I didn't know what was going on, but she tells him to sit on the floor cause she about to braid him up. Leon about to get these in the head because we own the run. We should have been and either cut that Afro off, got it braided up or did something, but you can't have that Afro. <sighs> But Mama Franklin's gonna hook him up though. While she's braiding his hair up, I couldn't help but to notice, man, this dude been on the run, that hair stinking. And he starts crying. And at the end of the day, he's still a person. Mama Saint, she's been knowing him since he was little. So she starts crying too. Because she knows, man, he messed up his life. But she also knows that Franklin is really his leader and drug him into this. And it's her son that she asked, when is there an end date to this, Franklin? We want to get out of this. So it just hurts for her because Leon was like a son to her too. It just hurts, man. There's nothing else I can say about it. Gustavo being Gustavo, he even got out of jail. He be drugged up. He messing up. But he comes in, he talks to Reed. And he's like, look, Reed, man, what I need you to do is I need you to find Lucia and see what happened. And, and Reed's like, you really wanna go back and do that stuff? But Gustavo's like, man, if you can do this, then we'll be good from here on out. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much, I'm not gonna ask you to do nothing else like that. So Reed, he's kinda like, eh, all right, man, well, let me see what I can do. I gotta get the damn police records for the, the killing for Franklin too. Now I gotta do this with, man, it's a lot of stuff I gotta do. Franklin pulls up and he's talking to his mom. He can tell that something's like a little bit different, a little bit off with her. So he's looking at her like, you went to go see him talking about Leon. And she's saying, yeah, he's staying in one of the apartment complexes of my building. So I definitely went to go look for, uh, look at him and, you know, talk to him. And Franklin's like, thank you. But just like I just told y'all, she told Franklin, I didn't do this for you. He's still a human. And I know what he's grew up and been in and he made a mistake. It's just a fatal mistake and it, it's going to be hard to come back from. So Franklin, he's thinking about it like, yeah, man, we, I kind of got us into some stuff, but he gets a page and he's like, oh, mom, I got to go. She asks, what are you going to do? He's like, uh, I don't know, but I love you. Man boy pulls up the Scully spot. And all of a sudden, man, boy, tough guy. This episode, he even walked up on Franklin. Now he even walked up in the Scully's house. Scully like, man, what you want, man? And man, boy's like, hey, look, bro. I'm here to squash whatever we got because that's your daughter and this is my niece, man. And Scully, he ain't trying to hear that. He's like, man, you laughing and stuff. What are you trying to rub it in my face? And then he pulls the gun out on him and a man boy walks up on it. Like, man, if you kill me, it's not going to bring back your daughter or my niece. Now, Scully's girl's like, hey, man, man boy's apologizing and you got to accept this, man. So it looks like man boy's coming to Scully like, hey, let's get something together and try to figure this out together and get rid of whoever did this. Because we know it was <laughs> young Lee. Our favorite reporter, Miss Irene, she goes and she talks to the drug lords. Now they're sitting in there talking about what? We ain't got no phone calls. We ain't got no court date. We ain't got no lawyer. They just do us in a cell. And Irene's like, what? Y'all ain't doing nothing. They like, I thought this was supposed to be America. We got arrested at LAX. We was going back to see our grandma, our sick grandma in Columbia, but we got arrested. So what Irene is saying is, listen, I know the person that got you guys locked up, but I'm gonna need your help. 
and they're like man we ain't snitching you know what i'm saying about to help you and she's like it's not snitching if you tell on the person that gave you up to the cops to get you arrested and she gives a picture and shows reed is the one that got you guys set up and locked up but i need you guys cooperation now snitching on police officers is good to go if it's a crooked cop you can say whatever you want and get them locked up and no one looks at you differently because the cops whether they're good or bad they're still cops so they ain't one of us i mean one of them one of them exclude me from that teddy finally pulls up on franklin with the news from the lapd and what do we have well the cops found a bullet with leon's fingerprints on it so they know leon was at the scene but they don't know if Leon is the killer. But what they do know is the longer it takes to find Leon, Franklin, Auntie, Jerome, you guys are all known associates. So until they find Leon, they're going to be coming down on y'all. It's going to be heat on y'all nonstop. Franklin's like, all right, is there anything else? Teddy's like, nah, that, that's it for right now. But y'all know it's going to be hot. And now Franklin is mad. Like, all right, I understand. Teddy gets up and leaves because now he's thinking, God, y'all messing up this operation. Y'all going to go down and I'm going to go down. Of course, Franklin gets mad, knocks off all the stuff off his desk. He probably could tell Auntie to pick it up. But <sighs> Leon, it's ugly out here for you, bro. When I tell you it's ugly for my boy Leon, they got him all over the news. And you know what they're doing? Because it was a shooting and we don't know who shot first, Leon is going to get hit with six, <laughs> six murder charges. Him and Fatback. That's just how it is, y'all. Unless you can prove that you were shooting back. Hey, it's over with for you, bro. It's over with. All of them deaths are going to be on you. And I'm talking about it's all over the LA news. What is this, 21 KEJQ? You know it's going down. All right, auntie's calling the shots now because what did she say as soon as she turned off the TV? Look, y'all need to get Leon. I'm not going to ride with y'all because it'd be too suspicious. Tell him y'all got a different hideout outside the city. And when y'all get far enough, get rid of them. That's all they can do at this point is get rid of them. My dog Scully high again. He getting a tattoo the damn same night. He got his daughter on his back and his girl comes out like, what? Get, 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 get that dude up out of here. And man boy on the couch chilling, drinking the 40. And she like, man, what are y'all doing? Both of y'all owe me. Y'all just sitting on y'all ass. You getting a tattoo of our daughter while the dude that killed our daughter is out here running around the streets. Who do no one who knew who knows what? You know what I'm saying? So she like, y'all get up off y'all ass. And Scully looks at man boy like, man, you you coming or you staying? Cause now they like, man, damn, we drunk, we high now, we gotta go ride out and try to find Leon. Cause uh, she wants Leon dead now. Leon outside pacing back and forth with the braids. <laughs> Mama saying gave him four. She like, hey, bro, this is all I can do, and I gotta get up out of here. But he looks back in the window and he sees him and Fat Boy's damn picture on the news. So he knows it's closing in. He got that little revolver on him, and they said he may be armed and dangerous. Franklin and Jerome pull up to the house because they about to get Leon, take him out wherever they got to take him in. But Leon, he's seen himself on the news. He said, man, I ain't sticking around for this. So it turns out he did have some money stashed away in the bottom of a couch. He just couldn't get there the other day because he's on the run and, you know, people will be looking on the lookout for him. So he laid low for a couple of days. He got him a bag of money now. <laughs> I wonder where he's trying to go. But we got to get about the city and then about the country next. Scully and his boy, they riding around. They, hey, we about to find Leon. Now, Leon, he got that bag of money. He sneaks outside. And then you see Scully like, hey, there he go right there. So they get out. They start chasing him. Leon got the, he got the bag. And he running and you got Scully with the shotgun. Bow, everybody missing. But we already know Scully can't shoot because you remember last week when he was shooting at Leon, he missed and all they hit was Wanda. But of course, he don't hit nobody again. And Franklin and Jerome knew where he was going to go because Leon ain't got much going on. So they pull up. Leon runs and jump in the car. You hear Franklin like, man, yo, stupid ass. Jerome shooting out the window trying to keep Scully and them up off. Oh, man, I don't know what they going to do now, bro, to be honest with you. <laughs> 
Miss Irene. So it looks like things are starting to come together. She got the Colombians to agree that they're going to snitch. But well, it ain't really snitching. It's telling on a crooked cop. But when she gets there, she's talking to the to her manager. And he's like, all right, you sold me on this. But what you need to do is find a weak link within all of this paperwork and find somebody that's going to testify on record outside of the outside of the drugs and outside of the off record DEA agent. We need someone that's going to testify that isn't crooked, that isn't bad or anything. We need someone that's going to actually testify to keep this together. So Irene's like, yes, I get to work on this case and it's going to be my biggest case. Yippee! The showdown we've been waiting on. Now, man boy pulls up to Franklin. And like I said, man boy became the toughest guy that we didn't seen on Snowfall, allegedly, like overnight. Like, okay, he's tough guy now. But he pulls up and he starts talking to Franklin. Oh, I see all y'all, but there's no Leon. Listen here, Frank. Uh, I got Compton. Scully got Inglewood. You don't have anywhere to sell it. Y'all had the projects, but Leon messed that up. So uh, you ain't got nothing. And Franklin said, I got the plug. So, yeah, man, boy's like, yeah, you got the plug, but you ain't got nowhere to sell it. So at the end of the day, both sides need each other. But Franklin's like, look, I'm not the one that came up here looking for business. That was you. So man, boy starts to break it down like, oh, you're not going to give up Leon because he's family. OK, but when a shark starts to smell blood. Yeah, we about to attack pretty much meaning, hey, after a while, it ain't going to be no more talking, Franklin. We're going to have to make a move. But also from Franklin's side, he ain't going to give up his boy Leon. But when that well starts running dry for a uh, man boy, he's going to have to come back. Regardless to what's going on, as long as Franklin is the plug, you're going to have to come back. Or you have to get that stepped on stuff. And you know Mo don't do stepped on. We got to do the pier. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, according to man boy. And one thing I should mention, they hop in, it looked like a cutlass right there, you know. So they hop in the car, and when they get ready to pull off, the belt is all squeaky and stuff. But they pull off, and man boy out the window looking at Franklin like, yeah, boy. So it looks like we got a war on our hand for real. Man boy and Scully versus Franklin and the 10 people they got. <laughs> we got to get Peaches back out here. There you go. That's Snowfall Episode 5. The recap. Let me know what you think below, man. Do you think they're going to kill Leon or they're going to actually put him up somewhere and try to help him out? Yeah, you already know me. I don't think Franklin going to give him up. But let me know what y'all think below. That's Episode 5. Thanks for watching. If you like the content on my channel, hit the subscribe button. Definitely give me a like. We're on that road to 5,000 subscribers together. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Modi J, and I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.